Hey, 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 kids. All right, we're doing streaming demons, and this demon demons we're doing none two barbarian. That's not like none two, that's untitled. It's like none two, comma, barbarian, comma, and mad god. All this and more now. Hit it. Mad god, not MAGA. <laughs> MAGA. Both. Neither. Mad Neither are both. God. Why? Why? Oh, did I, did I hit my ear? No, I didn't. <laughs> Sometimes my... By the way, I got Lou Ferrigno's signature on the Mummy Dearest. I saw Dearest. that. I yeah. saw that. Yeah. Did he remember that movie? Yes, he does. Yes, <gasps> he does. Did he have and any he... stories? He, he he's, seems to like it. He's like, do you like it? I'm like, yeah. Oh. I, I told him the truth. I I told him that I gave it a star higher just because he was in it. Yeah. I don't remember what my total score was. I do remember I I, like, if it wasn't for him. I think it was I, two. I, I, would, I think yeah, it was I think two. I'm up to the three then. Yeah. Or maybe I bumped it to the two. Yeah. I think I, I, I gave a, a bump for Tara Reed as well. Yeah, you know, she just like walk up and down stairs. Well, both of them are in it like two seconds, and that's it. And then it's all sweaty pianos. Yes, I'm going to have Tara Reid sign it, and then I'm going to find someone who plays piano. Yeah. Like, not necessarily the guy who actually in the acting and the character, like just yeah, the guy just, who just just a guy who yeah, plays piano, some, some dude, like just a piano dude. bar dude, as, as one does. Now, yeah, welcome back. Welcome. Welcome back. I, we didn't go nowhere. Did I go nowhere? It's nowhere. Thanksgiving. -ish. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Grandma's cookies. Let's watch this in cereal. Grandma's cookies. Grandma's cookies. Oh, my cat did not like that. <laughs> did not like Grandma's cookies. I don't want to like Grandma's cookies. So today, streaming demons, we're who going. Who cares? Baby Yoda does. That's who cares. Today on Screaming Demons, we're going to go through some... <laughs> oh, wait. Thanksgiving's next, I think. Thanksgiving's coming up. And I does believe you guys will be listening for pornos to Thanksgiving, so good luck <laughs> with that. On this episode... You're welcome. You're <laughs> welcome, everyone. God bless us, everyone, because no one's going to ever subscribe. So hit subscribe, hit like, go follow our podcast. Thanks, for Oh, wait. We still have to do it still. Yeah. Yeah. So but you can welcome. still do that while you're listening. Yeah, you shit, can still just do it. press the button. It's not that hard. Yeah. So leave a little you review. Hear, you got Jim hey, Phoenix. Hear hello. Yeah. Here, cat. Say hello. Yeah. J.M. Brannick, my co host. Yes. And we talk about movies. We talk about streaming stuff. We talk about TV shows. It's all horror related. It's all horror related. Mm -hmm. Adjacent. And, yes. Or adjacent X. Oh, wait. That was. Last, last, last episode. So today's we got the Nun Two Barbarian and Mad God. Mad God. I, I honestly, God, I don't remember what the hell Barbarian's about. Is that the, the old movie? Is like no, the 70s? that's. Oh no, no, that's like something kind of new. It's actually set really? in Detroit too. Oh God. Yeah. Sorry. I, I need to make a. I need to make a list of all like the Detroit films. Like, don't breathe. Um, it follows. It follows. And um, and this now too, barbarian. Yes. Barbarian. Okay, yeah. what's all right? What's barbarian? <laughs> Who's it with? Okay, it's with a scars guard, but I forget which scars guard. Gotta look. Okay, it there's up. three of them we could pick from. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's, older Skarsgård, younger Skarsgård, or younger. Yeah, so it's the younger it's, one. It's younger Skarsgård. It, it's the guy um, from it. It's Bill Skarsgård. Bill. Bill. Okay. Um, and then it has um Georgina Campbell and Justin Long. I forgot it has Justin, Justin Long in this. Yes. Does he and, play a walrus? I hope so. No, he That'll actually plays tight. an asshole. He plays such an asshole, and it's so good. And I'm really proud of him for coming back to Detroit to film because he had not had a good experience in Detroit. Um, people had 
allegedly, according to him, like kidnapped him for a while when he came to Detroit last. So and I. Then what form? Um, they were gonna try to ransom him. I think. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Hey, that's not funny. It's not funny. I feel ransom him. I, to whom? Yeah. Drew who Barrymore knows? in the time machine. Who fucking knows? But I do feel bad that that ha- happened. But yep, this is um 2022. So this was last year, and um, it's basically um this girl and. Uh, Bill Skarsgård uh, get rent the same house um, nice. accidentally. Oh shit! Did you see this? No, maybe. Okay, am I on the right track? I say it's the as a couple, and then there's like a dude that comes by after, right? Or a girl? Well, is it a girl? Well, they're not a couple. They no, both, I thought there was both- like two people. No. Yeah, there are two people in the beginning. Um, it's Skarsgård and uh, uh, Campbell. And basically, right. they book the same house. She does it through Airbnb. He does it through another booking agency. And, uh-oh, whoops, big snafu. And so she, he's like, well, you know, you might as well stay the night because it's late at night. And we'll figure this out in the morning. And... But the house has a dark secret to it. And there's and just so, them two. There's no one else. And then Justin Long comes later. It's under there's there's a secret passageway under the house. Does that sound familiar? No. Okay. Then you might not have seen it. But it is interesting because um, Zach Krieger, who wrote and directed it, um, it was kind of interesting because he had um, – it's it's all about reading warnings and kind of like um, trauma that comes into it and the ripple effects of abuse. And so there's some – kind of weird parts in it it actually kind of reminded me of like x-files there was this one x-files that i don't want to say too much because then it's kind of spoilery you're gonna spoil x-files is the one where there's an alien in it and a guy smoking a cigarette no it's where there's an inbred family oh well yeah and so (laughs) it's kind of like that but he said it was inspired by the nonfiction book the gift of fear and he cites, like, in, uh, according to Wikipedia, so, but he cited a session that encouraged women to trust their intuition and not, like, ignore red flags. And basically, he started um, writing a 30-page scene in which would incorporate as many as the red flags as possible. A and that's 30-page how, scene, Jesus. And that's how it started coming to be. Hmm. So it's it's That's very hilarious. interesting. It's really interesting. Um, I, it was not what I was thinking it was going to be. I thought it was going it was? to be. I thought it was going to be like a, a haunted type horror movie, um, not an actual like physical thing type horror movie. Um, I wanted to actually spend – I did like Justin Long, but I wanted to spend more time with um, Campbell's character because I thought she was really fascinating. Um, but it is kind of nice. Um, Detroit is not the bad guy, surprisingly. Oh. Um, al- although you think it is going to be at some points because there's a guy that's like chasing after her saying, right. lady, come here, come here. And it, you find out later he was trying to warn her. So, come here. Um, Detroit isn't the bad guy. It's um horrible people. Horrible people are bad in guys. Detroit? There's horrible people in Detroit? There is. But there's also really? good people too. Like one so of the you, people that was trying to save her. You you have horrible people and you have someone renting the same place and you have confusion and crawl spaces and X Files and inbreds. And all this happens in Detroit? In this movie, yes. That's a big fucking... And and there's a 30-page scene? 
Well, that's that's what he had started with. That is what he had started with. It's just so basically started for trying, piece of shit and then went somewhere else. Well, basically, he was trying to incorporate how many, especially for women, or AFABs, I should say, um, the red flags that they get when they're with other people. So it's what like, well, like one of them is arriving to a strange place alone. Um, you know, having a guy there, like, is that safe, you know, for you to stay with him? Um, because he's a stranger, you don't know him. There's a part when he's like, oh, I, I, I have some wine. I haven't opened it, but do you want some wine? And she's like, no, thanks, you know. But I later on, tea. That, like, she did tea. have tea. She did tea. have tea. And then she's like, she okay, I'm tea. peacing out. Um, and then the guy's like, listen, to our, listen, listen to our last episode. <laughs> um, but but eventually she does have the one because then she finds out, you know, a little more about him. But basically it's all these like little red flag signs that AFABs have to go through every day to see if it's safe or if it's not safe, you know, um, and a lot of gut intuition. Is it? Okay. I got two questions. One sure. is roller gator one of the red flags because if not, it should be. Yes, because it like, is. I got some wine and roller gator on TV. Yes. And that Come that was that. the bad guy had roller gator playing on oh, loop. Oh fuck, man! Yeah, on loop. But you're saying yeah. AFABs. So, what's the opposite of AFAB? What's like the, the AMAB? AMABs? No, yeah. like that would be AMAB. I wasn't he like the captain of the? That's AHAB. <laughs> That's AHAB. You're bad. you're. AMAB, AHAB. Your Gen X, your Gen A-Fab. X jokes are old. <laughs> my Gen X. You're old. Wait and you until should I start doing. Old. Fuck, man. I'm gonna start doing my Gilbert Godfrey impression of Gilbert Godfrey doing an impression of uh, Gilbert Godfrey. The Marx Brothers. The Marx Brother. Oh God. Carl. Not, not like the funny one. I'm doing Carl Marx. Oh, Carl Marx. <laughs> Carl Marx Brothers. That's that's <laughs> Zeppo, Carl, Groucho. Harpo. Carl. <laughs> He's like, you know, we have that to. One. We he have to. State. We have to come together as a, a communist state, and they're like, mm. boop, boop, boop. Actually, that's that's <laughs> <laughs> that's the Three Stooges. Three but Stooges. You get it. Uh, but, but okay, my question is: You're saying that AFABs have these red flags. Does that mean no one else has these red flags? Um, I think it's. It's more um, geared towards AFABs because there's a lot more dangers. Um, why? Why? There's yeah. a lot of predatory people and a lot of predatory men. In fact, I was just speaking today with somebody who um, a couple weeks ago didn't come to one of our groups. And I was like, hey, what's going on? And she's like, oh, you know, and I was out at this club and some guy like tried to finger me. And so I just wasn't feeling like coming out for a while and i'm like uh, pardon she's like "Eh, you know it 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 happens and it's like you know yeah it was tuesday and but again but again it's it's like having to mitigate things like that and she's like you know it was hard because at first it was like well did i did i stand out did i you know was i wearing something and it's always like these things in the back of your mind but that's always the case. You can't walk out, you know, dark alone, you know. Um, a lot of times you'll cross the street if there's, you know, a lot of people coming your way. Uh, it is, you know, a lot of dangers that you have to look look out for. And red flags, you know, especially like in the dating world and, you know, in the, even in regular life. Okay, have I you ever seen I didn't Euphoria? Mean to, like, you, no, I haven't. <laughs> okay. I'm not that sad yet. <laughs> well, uh, the reason I ask, I, I, I don't know the person's, oh boy, Euphoria. I, I don't know the person's name off. off Zendaya? Hand. No, Zendaya is the one that runs all the wars. No, not, not her. But it's going to be, God, I want to say Hunter Schaefer. It could be someone else. I don't really know the series all that well. It's been a while. Is it Lou Ferrigno? No, but oh, but 
it's going to be someone who who plays. Fuck, it's either going to be Sydney. Sydney's kind of no. It's going to be that one. Okay, whatever. It's going to be someone who's playing a character who we don't really know what gender. Okay. And I'm using that in like the, the traditional term, right? A gender the, or sex. Sure. I'm, I'm, I'm not. The minutia is not going to grind me today. It, it's going to okay. be well, because you know, yeah, it's, it's for the show Euphoria. Mm-hmm. It's someone who's having a lot of the AFAB red flags as you're as they're bringing up, but they're not. But they're not. So there's someone who's transitioning. A-maps. There's some. There's someone who's transitioning. Transitioning to female. Yes. Okay, so that's still a female experience. I, I mean, I say so you're AFAB's, AFAB. A, a female you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. So it's you're not. Right. So. You're right. I would say it's an AFAB and woman experience. And you're right. Like there is that um, splitting of hairs, but it's true. Um. And I say AFABs too, because even if you transition from female to male, you'll still have some of those experiences and those fears, you know, of, of growing up in that, because it was always like, oh, you know, make sure you don't, you know, get into the car with strangers right. because you'll be raped and killed, you know? Well, and they were told that to little boys too, though, like guys get the whole no, I don't think any any parent says like, "All right, you motherfuckers, any any stranger offers you candy, just run, get get inside the car, go for it. You only get candy once in your life." I you mean, feel, no yeah, no, and I do. You mean? I think it's more prevalent though, with growing up as a female. It's, welcome to. More- yeah, welcome, welcome to, to AFAB and Map Chat. Where welcome we get, to red flags and to uh to but this uh, is good. I appreciate it because I, I don't know the red flags without without seeing them. I think like, what's what are red flags? Because red flags now, the connota- connotation for red flags now are things like, oh, he, he likes uh black tea. Well, I think like, a lot of it really? too That's is flag? he has a well, fi- he has a picture of a fish on Tinder. You know, like no, we, no, no, no. We I, use red flags for different levels of sensitivity. So you're talking about actual red flags of I'm I'm this talking can like killed. Like yes, like danger range. Yeah, sometimes okay. yes, like if if let's say a bigger dude than me or something like that is standing in between me and the door. That's immediately like a red flag, like especially if he's upset or something. It's like, oh, you've just trapped me in here. There's, there's, you know, I cannot leave. Or um, even sometimes guys being too nice. It's like, okay, what is the purpose of this? You know, are you being nice or are you looking for something else? Mm. Um. You know, things like that, people coming and approaching you in a parking lot, you know, and I have had that before and it was fine, but it it did raise my like, okay, what's going on? Where, where am I going to go if something goes down? Where do those come from, Fox? Where do those red flags come from? Are you taught Society. Yeah, you're taught this. So so society teaches you how? Through talking with other women. Okay, so through, um, through reinforcement of um, identity through, or? Yeah, through, I think, identity. Like, again, like, you'll be at a slumber party and son- suddenly somebody is, like, spilling out their guts of, like, how they were at the library and somebody came up and was groping them and they were scared and they couldn't say anything and you're only 12 years old. And what do you do, you know? Um, you know... It, or, or things like that. Um, mine was, and I'll go, and mom's probably going to like roll her eyes, but um, Deanna Seifert was the was the one for me because she was a little girl. The woman on Star Trek? Nope. She was a little girl in this area around my age at the time. 
and she was at a slumber party and somebody came in and kidnapped her and raped and killed her and dumped her body in a garbage in a trash thing and at that time everybody's like no slumber parties for females no slumber parties because this is what could happen to you guys you could just so they, she was a female she was a little girl just like you they and came so into it was the at the window school. or how they they still kind of don't know honestly reading the case again it it's kind of sketch like for the people that they they pinned it on cuz there wasn't really a lot of evidence but they think that they entered through either a window or through the back door and um she might have gotten up to go to the bathroom or something like that and and they nabbed her and they grabbed her and they took her out and nobody knew about it until the morning so it was wrong place wrong time yeah absolutely wrong place wrong time huh and um but it, over here it was like all the schools were like you know telling parents don't have slumber parties don't have people over you know that you don't know um and it was around my birthday too and my mom's like i don't think we can have a slumber party for you because of this oh wow and and i was only 6 i want to say so like 6 or 7 and so that kind of yeah that burned into my memory of just like Oh, this happens to to little children like me, you know, to AFABs like me. And, you know, we were always taught, like, you know, at the park, you know, if a guy approaches you, you know, you run away. And I remember during when I was over in that area, too, there was people, a guy that would approach kids, AFABs, you know, and, and start talking to them. And we were told, like, you can't do that. You know, like, same with, um, there was a 7-Eleven where a guy was flashing um, AFABs, too, and they said, you know, you want to stay away from that 7-Eleven. So it's like, to make you feel safer, you're limited, you know? You're limited in your choices and your options. But what's, Wouldn't you, you know, get a gun? As a six-year-old? As a 12-year-old? A six-year-old in America, son. <laughs> that's true you didn't have your own fucking guns you have your own line of guns at that point. i mean i i had my own bb gun so that was kind of cool but, 16 but uh, i had a big dog thankfully i had a big dog and so i think there was a couple times where there'd be strangers walking up and my dog would bark and they would leave so okay so those are the red flags and you're saying they're societal reinforced meaning not just society itself, but you're getting personal experiences that from that end of society being reinforced, like, oh, this guy is an asshole because we see this, you know, versus a whisper of a uh, rumor, that type of yeah. reinforcement. Okay. Yeah, I would say that. And, and also, um, yeah, yeah, I would say it, it kind of comes at you at all sides, you know, because then there's always those special episodes too. And, you know, um, it's reinforced by media. Up? Well, you know, like those special episodes of like, you know, I don't know, Full House or something like that, where it's like, oh, right. don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those kind of things. Stranger danger. Mm -hmm. And all Full House was a bunch of girls, I think. Like yeah. little girls. Yep. Until later were, on, and twins. then they had the twins. But yeah, it was all girls. Well, the twins are still girls, too. Olsen oh, no. twins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm talking about the twin boys later on. They had twin boys later on? Yes, what, they the, did. Olsen, Jesus, man. That's too much. Yeah, and they all fucking lived in that house. <laughs> Gotta get a bigger fucking house. <laughs> Fuck the boat thing. Get a bigger house. Okay, so uh. this movie, Barbarian, has a lot of flags, and she dismisses them? In the beginning, um, she does, and actually, and I'll I'll say this because it's very, very in the beginning. Um, Skarsgård is an okay guy. He's he's not the one that you know. Um, uh, but fucking it's... walrus. <laughs> fucking walrus. Jason. The funny thing is, Jason Long plays a very unsympathetic character in this, and he plays him really well because you hate the character. You know, mm -hmm. he's like, I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. But then he's an actor who um, there's allegations of sexual assaults. And like throughout the story, you know, you start to hear his pieces of the story. And then it gets a little bit 
less believable and less believable over time. Wait a minute. It's, You're doing Jason Long now and you did Justin Louis Guzman. Oh, Sorry, J- Justin Long. Oh, Justin, my bad. I think I said Jason by mistake. Oh, okay, okay. And you did Louise last time. Are you just going through like waiting and seeing who's in horror movies from that cast? If if Dane Cook fucking pops up somewhere, A, disappointed he's a piece of shit. But that's not even allegedly. He's a joke thief. Fuck him. And yeah, B, is, is Rhino Reynolds going to pop up? Because this you're doing like the cast of waiting for the last couple weeks. Oh, am I? Yeah. Well, we we only brushed him on like Louise Guzman. But um, mm-hmm. I mean, I could. I could do Ryan Reynolds. He was in um, Anim- Amityville I Horror. Could do oh, he was. That's right. He did the he remake was. of it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. He sure did. So I remember that, we, that fucking ring. He was also in the ring. Was or he? the Green Lantern? It was a really horror, shitty movie about a ring. That's all I remember. I think it was Green Lantern, and it was I don't Green think Lantern? it was horror. Okay, my bad. It was not <laughs> horror. <laughs> and my memory, it was a fucking horror movie. I yeah, fucking paid no. money for that. I, the only, only ho- I mean, I'm sure he's in other horror movies, but the one that I remember him in the most was yeah, the Amityville horror. horror. Mm-hmm. Yeah, based on a true story, sort of. All right, so we so. we have barbarian. <laughs> You've got some flags going on. You have like ignoring of flags going on. You have Justin Long straight off of getting his walrus tux removed and you start killing people immediately apparently mm-hmm. is this is this cgi or is it just all no, no it's practical at all or actually, practically it's no effects practical at all? it's practical effects honestly i've been so spoiled recently mm. all the movies i've seen have practical effects and i've been just loving it to pieces including the um, last we're talking about today huh Including the last movie we're talking about today, Mad God. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, yeah so practical effects. Um, there isn't a lot of gore in it, um, but it is a scary movie. And there's a lot of tension in it. And there's a lot of... Um, I just, like I said, there's themes in it. There's... Um, uh, things like that and like i said it's at the heart of detroit and i think that's part of it too is you know because she's staying in this airbnb and people are like oh that's that's not a good part you know that's dangerous I was like, no. yeah and um it's really not the the neighborhood itself it's it's the remnant of one of those red flags like a red flag dude you know like right. A gross, gross dude. Hmm. Ron Jeremy's in this movie, huh? Okay. Mm. Grosser? I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it. Oh, okay. It. <laughs> no spoilers. So what would you give it? What would you give as a rating? Okay. I wanted to like it more. I will be honest. Um, it was, Like I said, it wasn't what I was expecting it to be. And so keep that with in it. I think people will enjoy it if you like um that kind of like more of a a thoughtful kind of story um but like i said i wanted it to be haunted house um so i'm gonna give it a 3.75 oh look at that Um, because i don't think it was enough to be a four but again it was very the music was great um I wanted I wanted more blood, I guess, and more gore. Um but it was it was very sympathetic in some ways that I wasn't expecting. It had more heart and brain to it than what I was expecting. So Hearts and brains. Um I Campbell did a great job. I loved her. I wanted to see more of her character and, and who she was and I I think maybe that's why I'm giving it a lower score because I wanted to mm. explore that a little more. That's a, uh, Three seven five. It's not bad. No, no, it's a I mean, good movie. It's it's gonna beat the crap out of my score for my next movie. I know that. Oh no, you didn't like the non two. None too much. No, not at all. Did you watch the first one? Yeah, wasn't very interesting either. I did a review on the first one on the on the did you the website? Yes. Did you like it? I, I said, yeah, I did. But as like a haunted house, 
like as a place where mm. you go in and it's like boo gotcha yeah. you know like that was basically what if you look at it from that perspective it was fun i mean it's not gonna like tell me the meaning of life or anything but it was a good popcorn movie yeah well put it this way if you kind of like none as a popcorn movie you take all the exciting elements of none remove them all force oh. feed a person of color because apparently that was a fucking criticism of the other movies you're too white uh, I and mean, you got none true. too yeah well yeah i mean it was also what Italy 1500 like what the fuck you want i don't know if it was boring hmm. it didn't it, it was a true sequel to the point and they're trying to do the, like the conjuring the conjuring universe so oh, they're yeah. trying to do that bullshit and they're really force feeding at the end there is a there's a small scene at the you know after after credits like the fucking marvel movie not as interesting as any of the marvel movie ones but they, they try to shoehorn in and it's Put it this way. The demon's back again or some shit. I don't know. Going through fucking orphanages and nunneries and bursts of priests on fire. That's how it starts out. And there's a lineage of some nun. Oh, you're actually a, a famous nun lineage. That, that's, that's why you can do shit or something like that. I thought nuns didn't oh, have uh, babies. Yeah, well... Muppet babies only. And so you, they come from somewhere though, like the sort of famous like martyr or some shit like that. And like, oh my mom's a, and she flash for her mom the entire. My <laughs> mom's time, a so. martyr. <laughs> Based basically, it was like the great grandmother some shit. Oh, but yeah, yeah. I I will sum this up right here. The thing that kills the bad guy, or mm-hmm. banishes the bad guy, or whatever the fuck. Spoiler alert. There's a bad guy in it, and it's a Conjuring movie, so good has to win for half a minute. It's Liquid IV. <laughs> they they they, oh. they they use Liquid IV. And if you go to liquidiv.com, use promo code Haunted One Hundred, get twenty percent off anything for uh, fucking the kill demons with. I don't know. Maybe that's what the peach fucking flavor is. It kills demons. That that's what it is. Maybe. But it's. <sighs> It's formulaic as fuck. And yeah, in a I mean, good way. It's just like, uh, it took me two days to watch it. Oh, no. I might have been really, really tired when I started watching it yesterday. But eh, put it this way. I know someone who was watching, I think they said, like the third Twilight movie. And I was watching None 2. And I was jealous of their fucking movie. <laughs> like, oh, man, I wish I could be watching Twilight 3. I could have done that instead. I watched Twilight uh, 1 this year. I need to watch Twilight 2 and 3. Yeah, well. You can do all I guess Twilight. I would, I'll watch that instead of The Nun 2. Fuck, might as well, man. I'm so glad I didn't pay money for that. I have like a seven-day free trial on Paramount. Hey. Uh, yeah. And I got to see Hellraiser again. The remake of Hellraiser? Uh, not that great, by the way. Not really. Why are we remaking good things let's well, remake thing. bad things well i can't wait for the remake of none 2 then hope that comes <laughs> soon i do want to see the ending of none 2 which will be like the end of the rain story the warrens come back oh they killed a nun but i don't really get a sense of urgency there's no there's no takeaway there's there's no Oh my gosh, oh my God, this bad thing's going to happen. Because time-wise, the Nun and the Nun 2 happen years before we see Conjuring. Like, Mm -hmm. time-wise, we already know what happens because the motherfucking Nun's in the Conjuring, so therefore, ergo, motherfucking nothing fucking happens to the fucking Nun demon. You know why? Because we've seen the fucking Nun demon in the future then. It's 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 a a Star Wars movie all over again. Like, oh. (laughs) Like, oh, we know these fuckers die. How? We saw A New Hope 30 years ago. We know they all die. Yeah, but I kind of liked that. I kind of liked it because it was like, it shows you their story. I liked that one. The difference is that was good writing, good acting, good directing. None to any of that shit. 
Oh, okay. It, it just miss and a miss and it's like, ah, oh, the little boy saw a priest on fire, so let's steal from the priest that was just on fire or some shit. And oh, that that guy we can't really remember from the nun one, he's back. But you also saw him back through the end of the rain thing. I don't fucking know. And then like, oh, that nun is back, but the other priest is gone. <laughs> we couldn't afford him, so he just dies or he's I don't know, fucking Ethereal, where the fuck he dies from. And then they take her seriously. They don't take her seriously. There's Mother Teresa. There's a nun. There's other nuns. It's a lot of fucking nunneries. That's that's all we have. Nunneries Sounds like and a shit lot like that. of nuns. Do they ever have like a sing battle or like not one go of them. and clean up like inner city graffiti? <laughs> Uh, that would like, be more interesting. If like this was Sister, Sister Act, Act 4 in the Conjuring universe, I would watch the shit out of that one. I, I would see Whippa Goldberg as Mother Superior. Oh my god. That would be so fucking funny. That would kick like, some ass. And then the nun is rapping because the nun has to rap. And then Roller doing Gator. Like, <laughs> and then doing speaker, yeah. some, like, that one move in like, break dancing where they're on their back and spinning. Like spin, there's always spin that. Yeah, yeah if, if, if any of that should happen, it, it would be amazing. It was parts bad, parts tone deaf as fuck. They put a black woman in chain. I'm like, oh, really? Oof. That's the person you chain across her neck, the black woman. Ooh, Thanks. That's that's no good. Yeah, I'm like, oh, that, they didn't think that one through. No, or maybe they, they did. They just wanted that fucking catchphrase on it. I don't know. Oof. and there's no reason for the new nun at all it, it's the streetwise nun <laughs> oh my god does the uh, nun take geez. Manhattan too I, I think this one no honestly I think this one from Detroit Are they you have one nun me? I could be wrong again I watched over two days I could be wrong I think she starts off as a person from Detroit just stay in Detroit yeah, can, and I will let you guess the color of that nun. Yeah. To be f- to be fair, we have fuck. a thriving African American and Black community over here, which is amazing. Who all want to be nuns? Who apparently, apparently all want to be nuns. <laughs> Shift her out to in Italy. Italy. <laughs> or I mean, or look, look, if somebody says, "Hey, do you want to come to Italy?" You go. Get in the van. We got some candy for you. Because there's Italian food. It's delicious. I yeah, would go. no. I would Sa- go. Save yourself some time. Skip the nun, too. I, I'm not going to even. It's probably CGI. Uh, I don't think any practical effects. Except no, for probably like contact not. lenses, maybe. But yeah. It's, it's not interesting. There's no. So fucking, what do you give it? They're fucking two. I give them a two because at least it's it, It's not Hannibal. I'll say Hannibal Holocaust. <laughs> cannibal. It's not Cannibal Holocaust. It's not the shittiest movie I ever watched. Like it's just out of five. Like it's it's a D minus. Yeah. It's, it's it's a solid D minus. There's there's no redeeming qualities that are like yay. It's like it's girl power, sort of, but not really. And then at some point you just well, there's the first some like one was girl in power. It. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's always a MacGuffin in these kind of movies. It wasn't that interesting. I was like, ah, oh, it's the whatever. I'm giving us a two. That's my final answer. Okay. But we know what? We got Mad God, a movie so horrifying. We both watched it. Yeah. And it was. Phil when Tippett. did you watch it? When did you watch okay. it? Okay, I actually. Spoilers. I actually watched it as a screener for um, the other website that I write for sometimes. No. Oh. Yes. Good for you. And so they offered the screener. I like Phil Tippett. I'm like, I'm in. And oh boy, what a wild ride. What a wild ride. Yeah. For those who don't know, Phil Tippett does a bunch of practical effects for almost every movie you ever liked, Animation. including Robocop. Star including Wars. Robo- Star Wars, Robocop. Um, he did Jurassic Park, which was a little bit of a mix. Mm-hmm. And he's I like, mean, he's, 
he's like one of the the biggest names in in special effects. Um, and this was his baby project. This was his baby. Thirty years. For, yeah, for like I said, I thought twenty as well. I said twenty before, I it was and then 22. the trailer says thirty on it. Thirty years. Well, yeah. you know, give or take. So it's been. I mean, this baby is old. This baby has a four hundred one k. This He's baby's too old for Jim this. to date. Yeah. But the <laughs> I don't know. You said I, it, I didn't. You yeah, said it, I didn't. Uh, I think the um, world was thinking it. So, <laughs> but um, so it has been a long time in the making, and it is. Hmm, I think you have to be in a certain frame of mind to watch it. Um, yes, it is experimental. It's very experimental. You don't, there's really not a lot of dialogue in it. Um, you really don't know kind of what's going on through a lot there's of dialogue. it. There's not like two words in it, I think, right? There's dialogue at the end with the guy. At the end? When he, okay. Yeah, at the very end. But it's very minimal. Yeah. Very minimal. Um, and it's basically this assassin comes down from the clouds onto earth which is now completely a hellscape a hellscape hellscape of torture Detroit (laughs) fuck off (laughs) (laughs) fuck off Um, basically of tortured souls um, there's so much sadism and and horrific things you he sees such horrific things and you see such right. horrific things and um and it's basically trying to destroy that world and does he is he able to accomplish it um as There's i said anal. i don't remember the anal you got to remind That's me of the parent. anal I want me to remind you of anal well you yeah. see when the <laughs> When a, a mommy or a daddy, <laughs> or both, it don't matter. Yeah, a, a daddy Same and a time. daddy, and a mommy and yeah. a mommy. Mommy, anyway. it's all good. It's all. It's, um, I don't remember that. I remember it eating something and then shitting it out. Yeah, one thing there was suffocation. But this way, if you ever seen the wall and went, "Oh, that's gross," this is not your movie. If you seen the wall and, going, "I if, can get higher," then this is definitely your movie. Like, oh, yeah. I, the wall's not bad, but I can get higher. <laughs> Honestly, it's it's so much more visceral. It's yes. so visceral. Well, there's, and there's because no it's claymation. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's, that's what I want to say. There's there's no – like the wall has a flesh and blood stops in between. They tell a yeah. story. This is yeah. straight claymation for an hour and a half, 85 minutes or something like that. Yeah, yeah. It's straight claymation. And again, there's n- really no dialogue um, and it's a hellscape and you feel everything and you see yes. everything and it's like you can smell everything. I mean, like it's, it's so visceral and beautiful though. At the same time, he put so much artistry into it and oh, so much amazing. talent yes. and, and creativity. These monsters are horrific, but at the same point in the beginning scene, this is one of my favorite scenes is the traveler is coming down and there's these huge like fossils of like ammonites and you see just his little light coming down in these giant fossils and you feel this it's so immense and it's so beautiful and Mm. it's so beautifully done um so again it's like one of those movies you have to be ready for you have to be like in that mood of like okay i'm gonna see some fucked up shit yeah it's gonna be good (laughs) <laughs> you're gonna go for the ride this is the one i, I watched with the last drive-in and oh, okay. that's why i think it was the second movie they did I, it's been a while but so i honestly i think i saw it around 2 a.m two um, and mm. i'm not saying i was high <laughs> but uh, some jets did pass by i'm like hey jets oh you guys doing it, it fit this is one of the movies I even think that, and I could be completely wrong, the last drive in people did say you might want to get really high for this. Mm. I, I mean, it, it, it could go you. either way. If you're the type that gets paranoid <laughs> when you're high, 
do not do not this is drinking movie for me oh um, drinking movie okay not a getting high movie because i would i was would doing both <laughs> I was like, that's my bets on this shit man i'll do both it's it's I, definitely uh, a movie that is going to be very immersive yes it's if, going to be very immersive if you're one of the people who gets high and says i don't know if i'm going to shit my pants or throw this water bottle at someone this ain't your movie no i think that was a quote from this week by the way that's so funny. <laughs> it was a it pink is- concert. I overheard that shit. <laughs> it's true. But again, it's I think it's one of those movies where um, in the future, we're going to go and look back at it and be like, wow, this was ahead of it its is, time. It's a fucking masterpiece, man. It is. It's a, it, that's the only Absolutely. way I can really just. I mean, obviously, I already know what score will probably both go, but it is. An absolute not having a leg cramp right now it is an absolute mess. I need more liquid IV. You need more liquid I, IV. I need more ass flavor. No, you know what? Liquid IV came out with roofies. They have like what? a melatonin, taurine, or whatever the fuck it's supposed to be. Like, not taurine, uh, terracotta. I don't know what the fucking thing is. Valerian. Terracotta. Something like that. You're like, put this in, put this in a drink. It makes it go to sleep. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's a fucking roofie, right? Did you just this is the flavor called pass out? Like, oh fuck. Look, man. if it's if it's you doing it to yourself and um, consenting. Hey, we're all adults. We need we need to relax some nights. Even liquid even liquid IB and ask me. Sometimes you get a cookies. Liquid no. IB roof for yourself. That or I'm gonna try that shit out. I'm actually gonna try that shit out today and see you if should. it actually works. I'm kind of hyped up. I can't take melatonin because it triggers my migraines. But oh, you guys have you have tried, fun. tried taking creatine? Uh, nope. But I'm on a sleeping pill now, so it works. Okay. Ooh. Not a non non habit forming sleeping pill. Yeah, sure. Just like my painkillers are not habit forming. Shut up. Because whoever wants to be in pain. I talk to doctors and they say these things. They're, they're, yeah, the and fucking nurses. said tramadol wasn't habit forming too. Yeah. But now look what I'm. S- oh, hey, hey, kids. No. Hi, welcome back to Pill but, Talk. But, yeah, pill <laughs> it's like Pillow Talk, but different. No, the different okay. and old. Yeah, but are you sure? Are you sure that I'm? Because I think the habit is you just trying to get to sleep, and then you therefore you start equating that with sleep and you must take it to get some sleep well you that's what well you could do that with melatonin though oh i i don't know what the you could you you could associate melatonin with being i mean you could do that with anything my drug tolerance i i was a drug addict since i was like fucking seven so like which you can read all about in john Surviving Gen X. Sur- surviving Gen X. By Joe Sheftick. I don't know why he wrote a book about me, but fuck it. I guess he did. Oh, I mean. <laughs> November 30th it, on it's, Amazon. It's a book about the generation. Or, or as my PR people said, definitely not a Christmas book. No. <laughs> not by this no. Halloween, not Halloween. Uh, Thanksgiving, yes. You're yeah. Thank, you gave him thanks to Christ that he or not him. I think that's the Thanksgiving one. Well, no, I but, think. You know, you you get the mad god, you get the gen, you know, surviving Gen X. You put them together. I mean, that's you're gonna yeah. have a wild time. You're gonna have a wild ride. Fucking go for it! I do believe Mad God is. If I wonder what kind of soundtrack you could put to Mad God, like you know, the Wizard of Oz with Dark Side of Moon. Because <laughs> that would probably fucking that would make That'd it. Be, oh, oh my god. That'd be pretty. That'd be pretty chill. Yeah, I think we should get some fucking Pink Floyd out, and we'll (laughs) see which Pink Floyd is like eighty-five minutes. Yeah, yeah, and And see, go for it, and go for it, and create a new like rumor about that. Division Bell, probably. Yeah, that's that's okay. Uh, When you call in next time, y'all call in. Tell us which Pink Floyd album you did to Mad God, (laughs) or none too. It don't matter. Whatever. (laughs) Maybe in the I think that too would be funny too. <laughs> it makes more sense. Like, honestly, guy, if you ever to watch Nun Two, Liquid IV kills the fucking demon. Spoiler. Well, I mean, 
or not a spoiler. I don't know. I can I can imagine that. Or exercises, and I guess. Yeah. Exercise it, it's, it's, and, and liquid IV. Jump, jump and rope. Yeah. So, Mad God, claymation. It is intense. You do mm-hmm. have to mentally prepare for it, and I usually took mental preparation as like just get out of your mental state. But you really need to be able to take a bunch of body horror. It's gross at parts. It's going to be yeah. intense in parts. It's yeah. bloody shit, piss, cum, whatever it is. It, it's got it's, it. It's nihilism in 85 minutes. It's like yeah. a, just a full that's, nihilistic I think that's it. Yeah. ride. And you have to, I mean, if you're in that mood of just like, f- fuck it, you know, like, absolutely this movie is great but if you're like oh i need puppies and kittens then it's not the movie for that moment no that there's <laughs> oh, go to heaven or no oh, strays oh motherfucker we gotta watch strays yo I don't, i've never strays. seen it oh will F- oh, that will smith will ferrell oh my god yeah yeah <laughs> okay. gotta watch oh it. oh that movie the that voice, looked yeah. horrible it's, it's horrible it looked Wait, horrible. Oh, did you see the same tre- previews I did? Because they talk about buying people's dicks off. Yeah, and I was like... That's all I need to hear. I'm like, that's early 2000s humor. I'm, I'm beyond that. I did write a book. <laughs> sorry. Joe wrote a book, uh, Surviving Gen X, which is early 90s humor, if you don't mind. So that's oh, like oh, thousands of my fans. Apologies. My or apologies. My apologies. say. <laughs> my... Squares squeaking, my chair squeaking. I'm not high. I'm just tired. My chair yeah. squeaking. Damn it! We're so if you see my chair squeak from the Buffy Vampire podcast, it's back now. Oh, is it? Not the not the podcast. My chair squeak. So oh. if you missed that chair. Squeak. Welcome. But Mad God, check Mad it God. out. Honestly, it's on Shutter right now. Go to yeah. Shutter.com. Put discount has code. Lots of great stuff. Oh, we don't have a discount code for that. We don't. So we don't, buy some liquid IV, get a discount code for that, Haunted 100, and then go to Shutter.com as you try to figure out their fucking sign-on thing. You know what and we didn't do? We didn't get do Cthulhu's. For what? For Mad Dog? For Mad, Mad God, I mean. God. <laughs> or Mad you Dog. Can, pity. You cannot say this. Mad God. By God. Mad God. It sounds like you're saying MAGA. <laughs> Hamburger. Ambiguity. Ambiguity. Okay. So, How Mad God. Yeah. I'm going to give it a 4.5. 4.5. I'm giving it a 5. Okay. See? I'm surprised because I mean, you gave that shitty ass movie last time a 4.5. I think. I think. You think Jason X or Jason Goes to Hell is okay, the same. Okay. 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 You're right. You're right. You're right. Five. You're right. There you you're go. You're right. I know I can shame right. you into that shit. <laughs> And the only reason why I remember about last time we just did it. I think the only one, the only reason why I was not giving it that is because it was so visceral. I don't know. Like it is very that's, nihilistic. You want it to be. That's. Yeah. Yes. And, but yeah. And I think at the time I didn't realize that it was going to be so nihilistic. And I was like, mm-hmm. but I think if I had known going into it, like this is going to be a wild ride. It's going to be dark. It's going to be gross. And you're going to love it. (laughs) Like, if I had known that a little bit more. But, again, like, he's just, he's got so much creativity. And it's just, just such a beautiful movie. You know what? And You saw it straight through on the screener. Yeah. I got to see it on the last drive-in and Joe Bob Briggs interviews Phil. And so oh. I got my experience broken up in pieces. Oh. Which might give me reprieves where you didn't I think it, have. I think you're right. You're absolutely Maybe right. Because I, I watched it straight through. Yeah, I think that would change. I, I, think, I think that, that, that would change would. your experience. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Because like a machine goes that, that, that versus a pause. Mm-hmm. Right, <laughs> right. A pause for a humanitarian lot. reasons. Yeah, because it's a oh, lot to get through. So you might yes. want to take like a, a you know, a, a, let's go to the lobby break. Fucking what walk. Take a walk Ad, somewhere. Admission. Uh, no, not admission. What is let's it? What is it called? Intermission. 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 Yeah. Take an, take an intermission. You know, watch some cat videos. 
go it's absolutely popcorn. fucking decompress from this. Yeah, decompress I, a little bit, but it's it's it, worth it. It's worth it. It's so good. It's beautiful. It's five minutes. It's, it's okay. Let me see. Eighty-five minutes. Pink Floyd album. <laughs> because I'm gonna try this. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look at this. I'm gonna see. Okay, let me see. The time official is six five. Minutes I want to try to see what Pink Floyd album will match up best with Mad God, and I'll see if I can do that as we probably But I do want to see the whole thing, start to finish, mm-hmm. the end. I, I yeah. Without the Joe Bob Briggs breaks, because I think that's gonna give me a different experience than I had before. And maybe my score would change based upon you know, not having and I, but I think uh, I don't know. It's it's hard. Like it's a lot coming at you, but I think it would be it would have been good if I had taken a break. But I I had just watched it straight through, and so it 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 is very in a way overwhelming. But right. again, I'm not faulting it for that. That's kind of part of the message, I think. Um, but it's going to be a, a talk piece. This is not a popcorn film. This is not no. Jason that goes no. to hell. This is not a campy thing. This is going to be one of those where you're like, okay, I need to talk to somebody now and like talk to them about what I just saw. Yeah. And if you like talking to people, nothing likes talking to people more like Liquid IV Nighttime. That's right. Mm-hmm. Are you tired of working out and staying awake? Are you tired of... Oh, no, I ain't going to do the rest of it. Oh, you're not going to say the rest of it? Oh, okay. Uh, something, something, liquidiv.com, hot to 100, promo code, 20% off anything, including uh, roofies. No, nah, I don't They're roofie people with Roofies. That. They're self-medicated melatonin Yeah, honestly, God, you can't... I mean, uh, maybe you could, but... You, you can, you're not gonna roof for no one on melatonin. Sorry, no. the, the no. mountain you're gonna have to fucking take is gonna be obscene. So <laughs> if you want to chill out a bit, oh, maybe I should chill out and go. Oh my god, and like mellow out with this liquid IV nighttime stuff and watch Mad God to yeah. Pink Floyd. The walls like 80 minutes long. Division Bell's like 66 minutes long. Unfortunately, Dark Side's only 40. Dark Side's 42 minutes. So really. Like, Double that up, maybe. I mean, it's you could double that up. Yeah, it has to be per- like Wizard of Oz has got to be more than forty-two months long. Maybe yeah. it's like one side, one no, side. No, I think I think you started at a certain point. Oh, well, that's what it's it is. Already going, yes. Ah, uh, okay. I okay. believe is the thing. Man, that's how they do. I haven't done it because I have a life, but <laughs> <laughs> fine. But if you want to try it out, <laughs> let us know how it is. All this and more. What's your plug, Box? Okay, my plug. I have a plug. Let me get the plug. Although I should have said this last week, but I didn't. So that's fine. Uh-huh. Um, I know, I know, I know. I'm getting my is plug. Is it Liquid right IV? Now. That'd be cool. No, it's not. Stop. Is it Surviving Gen X? Because that'd be cool too. No, it's, it's called Wicked Wick Soy Company. And you go to www burn wicked so b-u-r-n w-i-c-k-e-d dot com and they have candles Use that promo code screaming demon Shut screaming up, no. siemens is that is that the promo code guy I, no this is somebody new this is somebody oh, different a, so we don't have they a make- promo code for this one I don't have a promo code for this one. Oh, man. But it is the holiday season, and these are handmade candles with horror themes. Oh, nice. I have Summer Slashin', which is the Jason theme, and it smells so good. Bloody Mary. It smells like my hand. smells so good. It just smells, smells like, like it hit me. Sewer. Oops. But they have, um, you know, some that are based on, like, there's an Art the Clown one. Um, there's, you know, things like what based does on... What Arctic Clown smell like? He's like a bum. It smells like a trash it smells, bag? It smells like candy <laughs> apples. <laughs> I don't know which Arctic Clown movie you're watching, but... <laughs> but, um, I've gotten from them. I love them. Their candles last a long time, and they smell really good. And, of course, like I said, they're into horror, and, um... Christmas is coming up, so if you like somebody who likes 
smelling good around the house and also horror. <laughs> Wicked Wicks. Uh, wait, no. What did I say? <laughs> oh, the cat's trying to climb up on me. I can't. Com. The, clap, the, the clap. The cat's the clap trying to climb up me. Don't come. Burnwicked.com. Burn, burn wicked. wicked burn. And it's called Wicked Wicks. Burn Wicked Burn. And the cat is now completely on me. Um, I'm being buried alive. Help me. Help me. Well, that's Help not a bad me. thing. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to promote this book, Surviving Gen X, by this Joe Shefchek guy. It's not the way you think it's spelled. Oh. Yeah. How do you spell it again so people know? S-U-R-V-I-V-I-N-G space G-E-N space X by J-O space S-Z-E-W-C-Z-Y-K. Go check Where it out November 30th it? on Amazon. You know what? This couldn't be an ebook, a hardback, a paperback, and Audible coming soon. But the pre-order, oh, I believe. Well, hey. yeah, Joe's got me to read it. Joe's, Ain't that Joe's great. gonna I'm, read it. My, I used to. I actually got me to read it, Timbo. Oh God! This was entire. Yeah, this was the entire time. No, it's gonna come out. Audible's be a bit of a longer time but pre-order it now on kindle i read the kindle version of it it's not bad on kindle for oh, i okay. mean it's really a print book is it's because it's got graphic art in it so it's you know kindle and graphic art don't always go together mm -hmm. but it's not bad on kindle awesome on paperback or hardback but check it out it's already been banned by some churches so you know this yeah. shit's got big because apparently you don't rape kids oh wait i didn't say the churches rape the kids i just Where's think my kazoo? Where's my well, kazoo? Here's the thing. They were doing a morality morality clause. Like, uh. There we go. Like, like this, you mean the same church that was like raping people? Thinks my book is unmoral? Really? Okay. Well, again. That I, makes sense. I asked Rape's you, okay, I said, apparently, but my shit's said, fine. Bad. What? What? It's not their image. Branch. What branch? And you said Catholic. And I said, oh, shit, no. They're not going to let you do nothing. Yeah. I know Catholics. I was a Catholic. Yeah, I know. Well, uh, we'll see. <laughs> but Surviving Gen X, go get it. All right. By half of myself, Jim Phoenix, and my co-host, J.M. Brennick, a.k.a. Box Human, bid you, holy shit, next episode 69 yeah happy thanksgiving early or happy thanksgiving late for 69 that's our special thanksgiving episode where uh yeah yeah it's don't porn. watch it mom don't read don't read oh. it i mean listen Just whatever don't do anything entirely yeah, watch, delete it hear box and dr Payne talk porno boy you can't wait for the next episode it's special we've worked our way up to this one yeah 69 69 dude can I do cat? Oh, I hear a cat. Meow. Meow, motherfucker.